Hey everybody, it's Radio Superdog here again today for another start showing off for you guys. Uh, hopefully I don't ruin this video. This is the second time I heard it across because there's a bug flying around here. I don't know what it is. It looks like a bomb bee, and it's black, and I ain't having it. So, hope that sh this shouldn't get fucked up. Anyway, here we go. The Holy Sword Excalibur, which I love this sword. I can't tell you. It's a gorgeous sword. I love the gold paint. I did paint this. It's painted. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Um, I love the design with the tapering. The tapering really fits this sword here. Comes up to a very nice sharp point. Or acute point, rather, I should say. Got a nice big handle. I love big handles. I always have loved big handles. It has a pommel. Actually, the pommel here is a separate piece, which is held in the screw, you can tell. And this is the first one I've actually put a pommel on. Because I built, I built this a while back now. So it was the first one I built, and my speakers are loud. They don't have them plugged in right now, so they're kind of just buzzing at me. And the pommel has some each on the inside, and it looks like a crown, kind of, and like it does in the show. This is from SAO2, um, the second arc, I think. Second arc on, we see it. Um, this has been downscaled, like my scissor blade, through the fact that it's like a really big, fat sword. It's just not really pretty in the anime. It's way too big in the anime. It's like as tall as Kito. It's oversized, honestly. This size is perfect, really. It's 38, 37 inches long about. Like, depending on my loose in here, which needs to be, which needs some repairs, unfortunately. I'm not going to show that off, though. Um, it has the same kind of guard type as the Dark Pulsar, meaning it has these bars on the side, which have a screw going all the way through, which hold the guard, the actual guard bar in place, which, this, these are a bit loose, unfortunately, which bothers me a slight bit, uh, but it is solider than a motherfucker. That is not going anywhere. This has taken a lot of strikes. This sword has taken a lot of battle. I've fought with it a lot with my friends, me and my friends sword fight a lot for fun. Have a ton of fun. It's awesome. So the blade of it is a bit is rather chewed up, and the paint's chewed up as well, especially on this side for some reason. Um, but I love the gold paint job. It's still very pretty. Just the the battle scarring gives it some nice, you know, it gives it a personality to it. I'm sorry I couldn't show this guy. I, I'm sorry I didn't show you guys this thing when it was brand new. Because when it was brand new, it was gorgeous, and it's still very pretty. It just has some personality to it now. Um, I love how the taper fits it as well. That's actually, the taper is supposed to be there. It's a very pretty taper. I built a sword before that had the same kind of, that it, it was basically a dark propulsor, but it had like a full-on taper that went straight to the guard, um, which I, I don't like. I really regret making that sword. I give it to, I gave it to a friend of mine, ex, oh, ex-girlfriend of mine, actually, um, who... I never should have dated. It doesn't concern you guys though, really. I'm sorry, I don't really want to bother you with that. But anyway, it didn't look pretty. It was really bad. It had the same kind of blade tip as the Darker Pulsar. And this that, that taper didn't fit that sword very well. This one, it fits it very nicely. I love how it comes up from the guard there. It goes down to this very acute point. A nice big handle. Love big handles. It's got a one handed sword. Like a legit one handed blade length, um, and this really is Excalibur, but this is more or less the perfect sword for me, really. In my opinion, it's more or less the perfect sword. It's a bit longer than a typical one-handed blade, it's got a two-handed grip, we got plenty of leverage, plenty of leverage there, and plenty of, well, speed, that gives you some leverage, you move around fast, you move around harder, get some better strikes in, I love one, I love one-handed, one-handed-ish blades and two-handed grips, I always have, it just feels right to me. It's a very pretty sword. I love the blue. I would prefer to have a lighter blue, but I don't have a lighter blue. Um, but it works. Um, as you can see, it's held in there with four screws. Most of my screws are that type. Yeah. Hopefully I'll get this up before my other video that I'm uploading today. Because <laughs> uh, I wanted to mention that. The, I now have an Etsy shop up where you can, if you want to, you can contact me on Etsy, and hey, if you want, you can ask about getting yourself one of these pretty girls, one of these pretty swords, for yourself, for an amount of money. 
I'll leave a link in the description probably. Um, I love I'm uploading another video today, which means you'll also be able to get some more information on that there. You'll be able to go up to my Etsy shop there as well, and you can contact me if you want to ask about buying yourself uh and your own Excalibur. Or maybe you want a Dark Repulsor, or a Scissor Blade, or an Elucidator, or maybe a Buster Sword for all for all sakes. Don't buy a Buster Sword; those things are freaking. I have a Buster Sword. I think I have. I don't know if I have a video up about that one. Don't buy a Buster Sword. The thing is so oversized and ridiculous. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I don't like oversized swords. I really don't. Um, that's one of my pet peeves. Oversized, oversized swords, oversized guns. It annoys me. But yeah, if you want to, you all can check out my Etsy shop. Contact me on there. You can buy one of the three things I have up currently, which I don't even know if I have up anymore. It's my bill and shit. I don't know. Uh, you can contact me on there. Maybe if you want to, you can buy one of the three guns I have up. Um, I currently have three guns on there. Anyway. Go on, go to my Etsy shop, you can contact me by buying a sword if you want to. I will gladly make you a sword for the right price. You know, I think that's the price. <laughs> so yeah, go check that out, so you should totally do that. And you should also totally comment down... Oh, I should be saying totally a lot lately. Weird. Go down in the comment section below, and you should tell me what sword I should build next. I haven't gotten a lot of those comments yet, and I'm kind of disappointed, I'm running out of ideas. The only reason I built this is the sort here on the ground. Uh, the only reason I built these is because I watched SAO 2 over again, and I was like, I should build this. Actually, I've been wanting to build this one for a while now. If I got undo that, I was very happy with myself. And then I went through SAO 2 again, and I've been kind of obsessed with this other character in SAO 2. I built her sword. It's sitting here. You can't see it right now because it's a different video. So, <laughs> yeah, comment below. Give me a like or share my videos with your friends and. Get my face out there for me, will you? That'd be awesome if you guys do that. And if you guys share my videos, I'll give you a little discount. Alright, see y'all guys later. Peace out.